Okay. So she's all off. And that's what you end up with. Lovely. So my first step is to come and cut off the bottom line. Alright, so we've got that all off the bottom. Hey, technology. So I'll come and just cut down the center line here. Let's give myself some. Uh, go in and kind of get rid of some of this material. This makes it a little easier to lay it on the cutting board. Okay. So we'll just start in the center here. And cut out the top line. Okay. Okay. So this is basically your upper. That is what's going to be 
on your shoe in the form of leather. Now, of course, um, because a high heel does a peculiar thing, the pattern actually overlaps. Like that. So, of course, you can't just fold it over. I'll do it this way. You can't just fold it over and as you would in a traditional pattern where you would just cut it along this line. I don't know if it'll line up with the lines on the board here, but there's the center line. If you were to, you know, lay this and trace it onto a piece of paper that's been folded, thusly, you're going to miss here. And if you do bring this down, so you get that, then you lose your toe spring and it's very, very difficult to get this to lie down on your last. So what the manufacturers do to avoid that problem is they, uh, on the inside, where you won't see it very well, uh, they do a cut. So we're going to do the same thing. And they hide it right in here deep where nobody can see it. So there's somewhere in there. We could have done this while it was on the last. So here's a nice spot. So we're going to cut that. Hey! Right there. So we will have uh, two pieces to our upper. front vamp and the lateral aspect and we've got the medial counter. <laughs> 